Okay, so let's take a look at how you can install Webmin on OpenSUSE. So basically, Webmin is a web-based interface for your system administration tasks. So to install this, you will first have to call for sudo, then zipper, install Apache 2. So if you don't have Apache, the first thing that you need to do is install it. Right. If you already have Apache installed, next thing is to go for sudo zipper install and uh, then open SSL and open SSL dash develop so devel. Right now, when we hit enter, it should ask you to type in your root password and then say yes to install the packages. once you install SSL packages you will also have to install Perl packages so let it finish right so let me clear now here uh, we will have to install sudo so per install Perl then Perl dash net dash SSL right and then Perl dash crypt dash SSL right so these three packages need to be installed right say yes now we will have to find the RPM for our webmin package and to go there what we will do is we will open Firefox and then type in webmin okay now let me search for this particular package meanwhile I am going to keep the terminal on the left and then webmin Right, so in case of download option, you will have to check this RPM for OpenSUSE. So right click on the link and come to your terminal, use wget and here have to paste your RPM link. it's 16 MB so depending on your connection it will take some time now it is saved so what we need to do is we need to clear this and go for RPM then dash IVH then our package right so the package is basically this webmin right and we have to paste it here okay so have this particular package installed and error will be gone hopefully right so now we have cleared this so let's go ahead type in rpm ivh and then this particular package so hit enter okay so it needs to be done by sudo so copy this right and it has started the setup okay so as you can see it has installed the package now if we go to this particular link we will have to use root username and password so as you can see it is already asking me to check whether you really want to continue and here I can type in root and then password and then sign in
and as you can see it has now started showing me the stats for my current system in webmin dashboard so i can perform the webmin tasks from this particular dashboard